Inspired by Salty Tua, as we discussed in the prior segment, let's do a draft today of the quarterbacks who should have the biggest chip on their shoulder entering 2023. Now, we have a trivia question here, but Pete has blacked it out. See, Pete giveth and Pete taketh away. Give us the trivia question. We'll get through this segment. We'll get through this draft. I'm going to ask Chris once Pete gives me the question, once he removes the – there it is. I got it. Pete, Pete, I can read. You don't have to read it to me. Who was the only starting quarterback to win a Super Bowl against the team that originally drafted him? Wow. Okay. Hold on a second. Like, this is one where I feel like I'm, I'm going to know this, and it's going to kill me that I don't figure this out right away. Woof. Man, you got it. Did you know it when you saw it? You saw it. You knew it right away. All right, go ahead. Um, Just tell me. He never actually ended up playing for the team that drafted him. He never played for the team that drafted him. I don't know the answer to that question because Eli Manning never played the Chargers in the Super Bowl. John Elway never played the Colts in the Super Bowl. So I don't know the answer. Here it is. Joe Theismann. Wow. Drafted by the Dolphins in round four of the 71 draft. Couldn't agree to a contract. Went to play to Toronto for three That's years right. before Washington acquired I'd his forgotten rights. That. All right. Yeah. Quarterbacks who should have the biggest chip on their shoulder for 2023. Go. Uh, all right. You're going to let me take it even though you did it wrong? Fine. Sure. Sounds good. Here I'll we let go. you take it. Russell I'll Wilson. Take it. Russell Wilson's got to have a chip on his shoulder. You get that big contract. You became a social media like jump off point of making fun of quarterback play last year you looked like hey you could say what you want about Nathaniel Hackett and the Broncos still it didn't matter there was still a ton of plays that we showed last year where I don't care who was coaching you the guy was wide open and you should have thrown it and hit the pass right so there's a guy that should have a chip on his shoulder I'll say Derek Carr after what they did to him with the Raiders, now, not that I believe Derek Carr is going to lead the Saints to the Super Bowl. I think he could take them to a division championship and a loss in the first round of the playoffs. But if, we're, if we are estimating expected sizes of chips on shoulder in 2023, Derek Carr should have a big one. He got thrown out the door by the Raiders. He became the scapegoat for a bad season, and now he's in New Orleans. Yeah, I like that one. He should. You're right. I'm going to go Lamar Jackson on my second pick. He should have a chip on his shoulder. People questioned his ability to make the contract happen. People questioned whether he's just a running back and he can play quarterback. Now they got this offense. There's expectations. Like, I hope he shoves it, you know, where the sun don't shine. Let's go Lamar. So I'm rooting for that one there. Ryan Tannehill, Tennessee Titans. I mean, every year they're drafting another guy to replace him. Last year it was Malik Willis. That didn't work out too well. Or maybe it will. Who knows? Now they got two guys competing. Malik Willis is better. Will Levis is there. They got two guys ready to take over for Ryan Tannehill at any given moment. And Tannehill shouldn't be surprised because he was the guy that that that, that resulted in Marcus Mariota getting dumped by the Titans. So uh, we got one more round. We'll do that right after this here on BFT. All right, one more round in the draft of the quarterback should have the biggest chip on their shoulder in 2023. Chris, go. Yo, it's Mac Jones. I mean, holy crap. He should have a chip on his shoulder. The fan base was loving him. They turned on him in a second up there in New England. They want a guy in Bailey Zappi who really is not even in his class to start. Florio's writing articles that they want to trade him. All this crap. Okay, he should have a chip on his shoulder. And then, of course, they had a bad offensive coordinators there last year. So he, he should have two chips on his shoulder. I'm surprised he made it all the way through to the last pick in the draft. Kirk Cousins should, should have the biggest chip on his shoulder. Whether he will is a different issue altogether. He seems to be content with what he is. He seems to be content with with who he is. And maybe, Christopher, if he had a chip on his shoulder, maybe, just maybe, he would work on Tuesdays during football <laughs> I knew season. you were going to bring that I'm up. I'm glad <laughs> that you have come over to where I've been for over a month now. I was astounded by the fact that this guy won't do anything on Tuesdays in season and is proud of it. His competitors look at that and say, good. good. More PFT Live right after this. You don't like it to Kirk Cousins, huh? Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.